Hello guys, <clears throat> I was receiving too many queries regarding this uh, advanced dental admission test or ADAT that what type of exam is it, who is conducting and which universities are uh, in Canada are uh, accepting these course from ADAT etc etc. How to register for this exam, uh, what, are, what is the procedure, what documents would be required so all those queries and like too many queries uh, too many uh, aspirants they were sending me inbox messages and emails and all that so i made this small video for all of you so that it is going to help you uh, how to register for this exam and what type of exam is it and what do you expect in this exam this exam aided it is an admission test and is designed to provide the advanced dental education programs kind of means to assess an applicant's potential if they are going to be enrolled in their program whether they will be successful in those programs or not. The score of ADET is used by various advanced dental education programs but not only that they also consider other things as well if you are talking about american universities they also consider about the inbde score like pass or fail it is not a score anymore so pass or fail of inbde whether the uh, person has already passed the inbde or not then score of ADAT and other documents which they ask you to submit. Uh, so it is kind of an aid in understanding your capabilities. But in Canada, some of the universities, they are relying solely on the result of ADAT in order to consider someone for the admission. Of course, they will be asking for your GPA from back home and they will be calling you for the uh, interview and they will be looking into the reference letters or whatever like so many other things but of course if someone has scored very good uh, in the ADAT exam they will be having very good chance to get into that those universities of Canada. Now, what is the eligibility to appear in ADAT exams? Like in this ADAT exam, for those dentists who are graduates of non-accredited programs. Well, first of all, you have to go to the ada.org and then you have to apply for the dent pen. It is www ada.org slash dent pin and then you register yourself for the dent pin dent pin will be your identification with american dental association for the rest of your life so save your dent pin and your password which you create while you are applying for the dent pin after that you have to go to the educational Credential Evaluators or ECE, their website is www.ece.org and you will apply to get the evaluation of your dental school transcripts done by them. The aided program will discard if the ECE report will reach to them and you have not applied for your dent pen. If the name which is on the report is not matching by any of the names in their register, they will discard it. Date of birth and name should match. Only the official reports which are electronically transmitted from ECE incorporated to the ADAT program, they are going to be accepted. The reports which are sent to you by ECE, you should not be submitting those to the ADAT program. Rather, you ask 
the ECE to send one official copy of your report to the ADET program. The name on the ECE report must match the name on your application exactly. If by any chance your name has been changed, your surname has been changed, then you should be submitting a legal document in order to make them consider your application. Well, over here, I have taken it from the uh, ADET program website, the different fee which is required, the testing fees for 2023 year. ADET fee, this fee includes administration and official score reporting to all advanced dental education programs selected at the time of application. And that is $415. Well, a score report fee, it is optional. This fee covers score report requests made after the time of application. Like say, for instance, you say that, okay, let's Firstly, up here in the exam, I'm not selecting any program at the moment and I will see how good or bad I score and then I will decide that my score will go to some program. So if you will be deciding after that, after the time of application, that your uh, report is going to be sent to one of the programs, then you have to pay additional fee, that is $50 per report. Well, the fee for the candidates from non-accredited dental schools, those who are candidates who are still students or graduates of dental schools of non-accredited by CODA, they must process this processing fee, which is $350. The score audit fee for a period of 30 days after a testing appointment as an optional service the ADET program is willing to audit a candidate's ADET results to confirm their accuracy. If you have any doubt, you can go for the audit of your score, but you have to pay 65 US dollars for that. If you have to reschedule your test, then you have to pay $25 for rescheduling. Candidates can reschedule testing appointments for a fee if notice is received at least one full business day that is 24 hours before the appointment and within the authorized eligibility period. Fee are non-refundable and non-transferable. All these fees, they are payable in US dollars only. Now, Let's see about the examination specifications. The ADET is composed of multiple choice questions or items. This exam is being conducted in the English language. Both the US customary system as well as the metric system or imperial system or international system, whatever you call these systems, they will be in the exam so that you are not going to have any confusion if any measurement will be coming. So they will be telling you for the height like five feet, 10 inches, or they will tell you 170 centimeter. So both will be there or their weight like 13 kilogram or maybe 27 pounds, etc., etc. Whatever is uh, uh, appropriate, they will tell you about that. The exam consists of the following three sections, the biomedical sciences, clinical sciences, and the data research interpretation and the evidence-based dentistry. From the biomedical sciences, there will be 80 MCQs. Well, for the these uh, biomedical sciences, the division according to the uh, subjects will be in this manner. From the anatomic sciences, 20 MCQs. From biochemistry and physiology, 20 MCQs. From the microbiology and pathology, 20 MCQs. From dental anatomy and occlusion, 20 MCQs. 
Well, there will be 80 standalone type of questions as well as case-based MCQs as well. So these will be total 80 MCQs, both types, the standalone as well as the case-based MCQs. They will be coming from the clinical science. Then comes the data research, interpretation and evidence-based dentistry. There will be 40 multiple choice questions from that part. This exam is being conducted at the Pearson View Test Centers in United States as well as in Canada only. This is just a picture from just to give you an idea how the Pearson View uh, centers are. If you have uh, taken any exam at the Prometric Center, just similar type of arrangement, there will be. Uh, what do you call it, uh, a computer, computer screen, mouse, a keyboard, and if required, there will be uh, headphones as well. You are not allowed to take any headphones of your own or uh, any watch or any cell phone or any jewelry kind of thing or like the uh, goggles or glasses, uh, like the dark glasses, you are not allowed to take any food or any uh, drinks inside, no any papers, books, nothing. Now over here, let's see aid at administration. Well, from 1st of March 2023 till August 31st, 2023, this exam is being conducted at the Pearson View Center. Well, for the first 15 minutes, there will be a tutorial, then 80 questions coming from the biomedical sciences and time allocated is 95 minutes. Then you are going to have a break, which is optional, but I always tell my students that you should take the break for 10 minutes. Then the clinical sciences, 80 items. 90 minutes are allocated for these 80 items. Again, there will be a break of 10 minutes. You are not allowed to access the locker, to your notes, to your cell phone, anything or food or drinks during these breaks. Then data, research, interpretation and evidence-based dentistry, 40 items. 45 minutes are allocated for that. After you finish your exam, optional, there is post-test survey for five minutes. So total time you will be spending inside the testing area, it will be four hours, 30 minutes. A scoring of examination. ADAT scores are calculated based on responses provided by candidates in conjunction with the known characteristics of administered questions, for example, question difficulty levels. Candidates are not penalized for guessing. The ADAT program employs sophisticated psychometric procedures to accurately and fairly evaluate candidate skills. ADAT results are reported as scale scores. These skill scores are not raw scores. That is the number of questions answered correctly. No, it is based on the skill. Some of the questions, they will be having higher marks. Some of the simple questions, they will be having very low marks. Using the skill scores, it is possible to meaningfully compare the performance of one candidate with the performance of all the candidates. Well, the scores are between 200 to 800 with a target mean of 500. So if someone is getting like 600 score, they are having a very good chance of getting into one of those programs. Just giving you an idea. And of course, if other people are scoring more than that, then we have to consider ourselves not as a top performer just giving you an idea. The aided program does not establish formal passing or failing scores. 
remember this thing the last point so over here just I wanted to give you a brief idea about this exam so that you will be having an idea what type of exam you are going to uh, face when you opt to appear in the ADAT exam so just a brief idea and how to proceed for that what documents would be required which websites you have to access to proceed for the process thank you very much any other query any question you can always directly send me the queries and questions and i would be more than happy to answer you thank you very